Hi everybody, welcome to Daisy, welcome to Skaliski Island and hopefully what you can see here is a static contaminated zone um, and hopefully if they haven't wandered off you should be able to see some, there we go, there's an NBC zombie. So what I'm going to be doing in this video is I'm going to be showing you how to uh, edit the JSON file that we've now got access to to add a permanent contaminated zone just like the ones at Riffy um, somewhere on your map and I'm, I'm also going to show you how to um, add in a spawn point for some more NBC zombies um, just bear in mind that when you're doing this um, when you're putting down contaminated zones often you kind of want a reason for the contaminated zone to be there so for example this one on Skaliski although it looks quite pretty um, why would you bother trying to get into to, to the contaminated zone so what you would probably need to do is like spawn in something that had good loot in it um, or put the contaminated zone somewhere where there would be good loot you know so you're kind of thinking of the gameplay experience for your players so let us just uh, exit out of that. Um, also, before we get started, we need to put um, credit where credit's due. And I'll put links to these resources in the description below the video. Now, the first one is an amazing video that Don Sibley did a few days ago, um, as I record this video, where he goes through editing the JSON file that's now available on console. And this this all works, what I'm talking about works on console, PlayStation, Xbox, and PC. Really good video, very, very good video. Can't stress how important that is. So there'll be a link down in the description below the video. Also, what you wanna do is you want to join Balshad's Discord, and he's got a very, very good tutorial in his Discord um, about how contaminated zones work. Bellshell Discord is an amazing resource, whether you're a um, console modder, to modder or, your P or you're a PC modder. Very, very good indeed. And also, you want to check out um, Bohemia Intera Interactive's uh, wiki page about daisy contaminated areas, how you configure them, which is super helpful. Um, Daisy's um, wiki, the Bohemia Interactive wiki, it's not exactly full of tutorials, but it looks like maybe they're going to be adding some more in that explain how exactly how lots of these files work so you know what you're doing. And also, you'll want to visit the JSON formulator and validator as well. This is the one that um, Don uses so that when you make edits, you can put them into the uh, validator and just make sure you haven't made any mistakes because uh, JSON files are very un forgiving right so first things first what you want to do is you want to download the relevant files um, that we're going to be working on um, and it's the cfg effect area dot json file so i guess we should really go in shouldn't we and um, i'll show you where to find these on a nitrado server so if you go into your uh, web interface and then if you go into the file browser on the left hand side and then if you go into the missions folder, um, on console, it's pretty near the top of your Nitrado um, st file structure on your server. If you're on a PC server, you've got to dig down a bit. Uh, Chernerus for Chernerus, Enoch for Livonia. Click on that one. And then we're going to go into kind of the main directory. And then we're looking for, what did I say it's called? The CVG area effect dot JSON. Where is it? There it is. Oh, there's copy. I can't see it. CFG effect area.json. So there it is. In there. So you want to click that and you want to download it and then you want to open it up in your favorite text editor, just like I've done here. This is Notepad. Very, very useful. Um, and then what you want to do is it, it's quite it's quite simple to do this. You just you won't have this top top bit here. You'll have this one here that says ship southwest if you're on a Chernerus file, and you want to copy everything from the left of the squiggly bracket right down to the comma to the right of the squig squiggly bracket. So you want to copy all of that, and then you want to go to the top of the file, and then after the square bracket, you want to put, press enter to put a space in, and then you want to paste that. Because all we're going to be doing is we're going to be moving the contaminated area 
uh, a contaminated somewhere else. We can just be calling it a different name, give it giving it different coordinates, and then put it again. Now, you may remember that one on Skilinski Island around the ruins is quite a small contaminated area when you compare it to like the ones at um, at Riffy around the ship. And the way that um, contaminated areas work in Daisy at the moment is is uh, the devs have them have a number of them, three of them normally together, like in a row in an area to, to create a bigger area. So you may want to create a number of these. And then what you want to do is you want first thing you want to do is change the name. So area name at the top. This is it's just it's almost like a remark um, when we're doing XML files. So if we wanted to put one, so say we wanted to put two at Skaliski Island, we could put Skaliski uh, dash island like uh, dash two now it's very important that you don't put any spaces um, you use dashes or something like that if you put spaces it will break down so we've got Skilliski Island uh, two it's a contaminated area static so it's you know the one and the trigger type of this contaminated area that's the bit that um, makes you take damage when you go into it I highly recommend you watch Don's video and he explains how to turn it off then if we come down, we've then got the position. Now, to get the position coordinates, what you want to do is go to I Survive, the I Survive map. Um, just do a search. For, uh, just go to daisy.ginfo.gg or just search for I Z um, U R V I V E, um, and then you can go there. And then all you do is you just zoom in where you want to. And let's say we wanted to overlap these files, uh, th these areas here. What you do is just put your cursor where you want the center of the area to be and then just hit control C on your keyboard and that will then copy that to, to the keyboard, to the uh, to your clipboard, sorry. And then we can go back in and then what I tend to do, I tend to do something like this. I just paste, paste the coordinates in there. Now, when you put the coordinates in, again, only use whole numbers. Don't, you don't need to use the... Um, decimals and in fact if you do i think it doesn't work so we just paste that in oh right there. so we paste that in on top of that one and paste that one in on top of that one there so we paste that and then we get rid of make sure we haven't got anything there so that's all there um now You'll see we've got uh, we've got an X and a Y or X and a Z coordinate, and we haven't got a Y. We, ha we haven't got an altitude for zero. That's because we want it to be on the ground. Um, and then the rest of it, I won't bother explaining it. You can see the Bohemian Interactive's um, uh, blog about it, or you can look at Don's video, or if you look in Balshad's Discord, it kind of explains all these different things. And I will be doing different uh, videos uh, showing you how to do different things. So that's. That's going to create another contaminated zone. But the next thing we need to do is we need to um, add some zombies to it as well, don't we? And for that, we're going to need the zombie territories.xml. So if you go back to your server and then go uh, into go up and then go into oops, sorry. So Daisy Offline at Jonas Plus. Go into the uh, env directory. That one there. And then you want to download the zombie territories.xml. So download that one. And then you want to open that up in your uh, favorite editor. And then if you do a control F for NBC, you'll find the territories for the infected NBC. And what you want to do is just copy one of the dynamic lines. So what happens is we've got static min 8, static max 10, dynamic min 1, dynamic max 2. So the dynamic zombie spawns, and correct me if I'm wrong, but they're the ones that um, spawn in as a player approaches an area. So they're the ones you want. You don't want zombies just running around all the time because they're putting load on your server. So you copy those. So you would, you would copy a line um, like that. You would copy that, and then you would paste it in. As you can see, I've already done it. So I've got... Dynamic min 2, dynamic max 4 at those coordinates. And those coordinates you take from there. Okay. Um, I'm not going to spawn any more in because I've already done it. And I've just put a little remark there. So, you know, this is at Skilinski Island. So, if I save these things now. Um, and if I just shut down my server. And then 
if we fire up the server again. Now, what I'm doing these on, I'm doing this on a local server on me, my PC. Um, for, for purely for speed's sake. Um, but this is exactly the same on a... Uh, exactly the same on a console server that you're hosting at, on Nitrado in, in the cloud. You'll be doing exactly the same. I would highly recommend if you've got a laptop or a PC that can run um, uh, Daisy, highly recommend installing a local server. I've, if you just search my channel, you'll find how to install a local server um, because it in, makes testing mods um, and edits a lot easier are much 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 faster than if you're constantly trying to upload things to nitrado you know remotely and then testing them um, it also means that you can have things like um, zombri running which you'll see in just a minute and uh, which is an admin tool so you can fly around the map um, in bird's eye view and you can spawn things in and, and it makes it testing things whether things have worked much much easier than trying to traipse around you know a full size um, daisy where you haven't got any admin controls so we're going to spawn in and hopefully now what we should see is there'll be uh, the, the, the zone at Skilinski Island should be a little bit bigger. Bear with me. Here it comes. Dum de dum de dum de dum de dum. Here we go. Spawning in. In a second, honestly. <laughs> uh, bingo, right. So let's turn on d God mode so I don't kill myself. Turn on free cam. Let's go up into the air. And there we go. So whereas it was just kind of around this bit, it's now extended down to this bit as well. So that's kind of, and you could add more, if I wanted to cover the whole of Skil Skilinski Island, we could add more and more contaminated zones uh, around like that. Where's the little zombies there? Let's have a look. There he is, there's the NBC zombie with his mask on. Very nice. So there, my friend, that is how you create more um, permanent um, toxic zones on Daisy. Uh, on PC, PlayStation, or Xbox. It's pretty easy. Just be careful about your copying and pasting. And where you can, make sure that before you upload it, that you check it on your JSON validator to make sure that it, um, it validates so you haven't made any simple spelling mistakes. Right, well, that's enough from me. Hopefully you found that useful. If you have it, like. If you want to see more, press subscribe. And I will, of course, see you again soon.